Wow. Okay. Big news coming out of Toronto. Again, I'm on my lunch break right now. I had to make this video right away, immediately. This is something that needs to be done. It needs to be talked about. Big changes coming for the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. Kyle Dubas is officially out as the Leafs general manager. And, oh boy, there's a lot to dive into about this. Kyle Dubas, uh, I felt as if he put his best foot forward this tr past trade deadline in order to make the team more competitive, bringing in guys like Ryan O'Reilly, Jake McCabe, Nola Chari, Luke Shen. He, he really went above and beyond at the trade deadline acquiring those pieces. But when you look at his past work, he mentioned early, early on when he started in Toronto that he, he can and he will be able to retain all four, well, all three of Marner, Nylander, and Matthews, and he, he was successful in doing so. But the results, throughout all those years, just one first round win, one appearance in the second round, and even worse, one second round win. So, clearly something was has been flawed throughout the duration of Kyle Dubas's term here. And I think that, I think he has the makings of being a great NHL general manager. And I wasn't against the Maple Leafs bringing him back, but I understand what's going on. This, after hearing this, it's certain that there's going to be a, a big, big overhaul coming to this team. Big changes are on the way. And the other day, when Austin Matthews was doing his uh, interview in a press conference, he, he mentioned that he wants to stay in Toronto. He wants to be home in Toronto. And with Kyle Dubas departing, because Matthews also mentioned he has a great relationship with Dubas. I'm wondering, does this change anything for uh, Austin Matthews contract negotiations? There's a lot to dive in and take away from this whole thing with Kyle Dubas and uh, I personally don't feel it was his fault that the Maple Leafs weren't able to get past the second round or win more than one game in the second round this year. I felt that there, the players just needed to step up. And the coach, the coaching, Sheldon Keefe, uh, he, he was outcoached throughout the playoffs with John Cooper and Paul Maurice. He was outcoached, uh, didn't know his best lines, and it was the end of the season. I don't care that they made... All these moves, you should know your best lines by November, December, and he didn't know them in May. That's not good. Not a good look at all. But at the end of the day, the bigger responsibility ends up being on the guy above the head coach and above all those players. That's Kyle Dubas. Maple Leafs departing with Kyle Dubas. This is crazy. The repercussions of this are going to be wild and um, we're going to see how this all plays out over the next few weeks. It's going to be really interesting once once the NHL season finishes to see what this Leafs team does as they approach the draft and free agency. A lot of pending UFAs, RFAs. There's going to be some big moves made for this team. So let me know your thoughts on this move. Uh, letting go Kyle Dubas. Again, I was on board with bringing him back. However, I felt that change needed to be made somewhere. The Maple Leafs elect to make the big change. And Kyle Dubas is out as general manager. So thank you for watching this video. As always, I'm Jake Varco. This is Maple Leafs Media.